I never wanted to make this video. I never wanted this to happen. happen, happen, happen. Look, I'm sorry. The van build has just been at a standstill for 10 months. And we, we should have said something before. I guess I just procrastinated. 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 Shut up again, everyone. We can finally continue working on the van. Finally. It's only been like nine months and two years since we started. So it's about time, yeah. to be honest. <laughs> well, hopefully we can finish the van in this episode. So what we've basically done up until this point is we built a bed frame. We put in a new window as yep. well. Yes. We laid the floor. We cut out something from the ceiling and we inserted a fan. Then we got the cabinets. Oh, the cabinets are pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Up here, look at them. I'm very happy with they them. They still work. They're fantastic. Still work. Bye. But <laughs> today we have to fix a couple of things before we can start building on the kitchen area thing. Just some minor fixes before we really get started with the kitchen area. So first of all, we have to fix the latches on the bed. The trim around the back. attach the handles to the bed. Okay. okay! It's really nice to just get the small things done and they turn out so good. But now we have to begin on the big stuff. Yes! <laughs> the the kitchen. kitchen area. Yeah! So last winter I installed a diesel heater mm. and that's great for the winter. Right now we have to remove that because we are going to cover the walls with some plywood in order to make it a bit nicer before we install the kitchen counter and the sink area. So we have to remove that, cover up the walls mm. as nicely as possible and then we can just start building the framework after that. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Let's do this! Let's go! Come in here. Come on. <sighs> okay, so we struggled a bit to get this beam onto the wall, but it seems like it's now really stuck in there. I um, think this is gonna be good. Next up, we have to get some plywood onto the wall and we're gonna use pop rivets just as we used for this one. And I just hope that it will be a bit easier than to fasten this because this was a real struggle. So yeah, let's do that and let's make some templates. God, <laughs> voice crack, okay. <laughs> we finally managed to put on the walls behind me here and also we put back the diesel heater and connected it with most of the tubes. We have to buy some hose clamps uh, to put it all together. But as you can see, we have a hole going into the driver's room as well as another one at the end here that is going inside this room. So the heat is going to be spread in the entire van basically, which is going to be really, really nice in winter. Just like put it on, bye bye snow. Mm. It's gonna be great. But anyway, now that we're finally done with all the, just the boring jobs, we can begin working on the kitchen counter. The fun part, yes. 
we have this this beam right here that is going to be like the base of our structure uh, and then we're going to just build a framework first and then do the cabinets and stuff after that so uh let's flipping do this So we got most of the kitchen frame done and it's really sturdy. It's going nowhere. But we do have a problem now because this thing right here is a diesel tank and that has to be connected to the diesel heater in there. So it's gotta be somewhere in the vicinity of this kitchen counter. But the thing is that this thing is fairly large and we gotta fit it in here. And all the thing is that we have to fill this tank at some point and I don't wanna spill diesel all over the kitchen because that's gonna be a mess. I don't want that. I don't know how to solve this. <laughs> I gotta do some thinking. That might be it. If we can pull this off, I think it could be really cool. Okay, so my idea is that if we can put it like here, we can make like a wall at an angle, but we attach this to a swinging door. So it starts here when it's locked in position, but then it can swing out like this, because then when we fill the diesel, we get it out of the car. Like we don't have diesel inside a car, it's great. And then when we filled it up, we can just close it back. It doesn't take a lot of space, but uh, this isn't necessarily going to be easy, so uh, I better get to work. Let's go. I got the packet. Hopefully, if I order the right item, this is our sink. Ooh, it's so shiny. <laughs> Look at this. It's majestic pretty. piece of sink. <laughs> <laughs> and that's gonna go. Oh, great job on the on the thing here. Thank you. It opens real smooth. Oh, you even put a magnet. That's great. I think maybe we'll have to add some more support when we get the fuel tank in here. So, I, but I think we can just get to work and start putting this into the the bench top. I yes. think it's gonna be marvelous. We should make a bench top. Heck yeah! Woo! First time fitting test, please. <laughs> please work. It's a bit tight. <laughs> but it's only a little bit on the sides here, which is easily fixed. Okay, let's chop again. A few moments later. Okay, second try. Let's hope it fits this time. Right in. <laughs> Oh man, I never thought I would say this, but this is beautiful. <laughs> the sink is mm, exquisite. So what now? Uh, the fronts? Yeah. What's up? <laughs> We've been going a little bit back and forth about the fronts here because I, I really, really, really want doors, but it's a very, very tiny space. Doors are impractical because this is such a small space. Just curtains, if we can get something nice looking curtains, I think will be very, very practical. We can just open the curtains, do whatever we want in here and close them again. No moving about the legs and stuff. The one thing that is going to be pretty is the countertop. And it's not gonna be this. <laughs> we have another countertop. Yeah. The sink will be on this countertop and we'll put the other countertop on top. I think we <laughs> just begin on the countertop. Yeah. Off we go!
Good morning. Good morning. It's the day after we fixed the countertop. We lacquered it last night, mm. and uh, yeah, we, also we attached the sink. We attached the sink as well, mm. but all that has to dry. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna cover this base foil up. <laughs> it feels so good to get rid of it. <laughs> Finally, feels like we're not in some sort of space program. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, we're gonna cover that up with some plywood mm. on the back and attach some tiles later on, and we have to fix all sort of minor things. So I'm gonna do probably a lot of lacquering and you're gonna do some electronics yeah stuff. some tiny electronics kind of figure out the battery situation yeah. yeah small things small things tiny big day yeah let's run a montage montage yeah So while I'm working on the van, I like to listen to audiobooks while, for example, sanding or lacquering. But I always have a huge issue choosing which book to read because, well, it's a huge investment in time. And I think a lot of people can relate to not having time to actually sit down and read. So I want to introduce you to Blinkist. What they deliver is pretty cool. They condense non-fiction books into 15-minute audiobooks or short articles to kind of give you the essence of the content. Some of the books I've listened to recently is Yuval Noah Harari's Sapiens, Homo Deus, and 21 Lessons for the 21st century. They're all centered around the history of mankind or kind of how we got to where we are today and where we're possibly going in the future and I thought they were super interesting and I can really recommend them. They have over 3,000 different titles to choose from covering a wide range of topics so I'm pretty sure you'll find something to your liking. Now the first 100 people to go to blinkist.com slash nerdforge will get unlimited access for a week to test it out. The seven day trial is completely free and you can cancel at any time during that period and you'll also get 25% off if you want a full membership. Thank you for listening! And back to the project. We're not going to fasten this bench top right now because we are going to sand it down a bit. The color became a lot darker than we intended and also it's kind of rough. But for now we're just going to leave it as it is and fasten some tiles to this wall. Okay, let's go get the tiles. So these are the tiles we're gonna use and they're like easy attach tiles with some adhesive on the back. Let's just start in the corner and because everything in this car has curves, this is of course curved at the end I'll figure out something later. <laughs> it's like, we'll deal with it later. I guess it's just peel off the adhesive and fasten it. I'm scared. <laughs> Welcome to my backyard workshop. It's been raining for the past couple of days, so even though I'm gonna sew some curtains, I wanna sit outside to enjoy. Well, there's no sun and there's some scary looking clouds. Let's hope they don't get here. <laughs> anyway, the curtains we're going for is these linen curtains. They're really cotton, but they look like linen and I think they will kind of blend in pretty well. I'm basically just going to sew these to the correct size, add some of this ribbon on the back side to be able to attach it to the curtain rod slider thing. Okay, stitching time. Woo. You know what? I thought the curtains would be hideous, but uh, I have to admit defeat. They're kind of nice. Yeah, I think they look 
Awesome. Good job on that, Martina. Thank you. So last night I spent the entire evening just sanding this bench top because it was way too dark and now it looks a lot better. I applied some lighter lacquer and that was basically it. I think it really was worth the time. And there's a couple of other things we want to show you as well. So this is a quite small space and it's very important for us to maximize the usability of the space that we have here. We can basically use the entire countertop when we're not like washing our hands or whatever. But when we need to use some water, we can lift this thing away, put it aside, and here we have the water. And it's actually connected to the, the tanks, we have water tanks and the, the gray water tank we have under here. So this is connected to power and it starts to pump whenever I trigger it and we got water. And the other thing we have here is uh, this little thing. It's a micro version of this, but this has a hole through it. And this is because we will have like a gas stove top here. And we, when we need to connect it to the gas, we need to put the connection through and connect it to the gas under there. And when we're finished, we put this back on and we store the gas of top under here somewhere so it's quite usable and here we have the controls for the diesel heater we can turn it on and we can get some hot air in here uh, it's pretty smooth so this is basically it there are still some remaining things that we have to address in another van video which we will hopefully upload quite soon it's only minor things covering up the small aluminum foil things mm. and doing something about the doors because they're kind of like an ISO right now but that will be quite fun to finish it up and uh, that will be in the next video yeah so that's it for now yeah, and if you aren't subscribed already, make sure to do that so you can see how this turns out. And also, I really want to thank our patrons and YouTube members for supporting the channel because you guys are the best. See you next time, guys. See you next time. Bye.